All right, y'all, what is good, man? Welcome back to yet again another episode of J.I. Productions. It's your boy, J.I., and I'm back at it again with another banger video for you guys. Now, as you guys can tell by the title and the thumbnail of this video, today we're going to be talking about Vader, my 2021 Camaro SS 1LE full Boton E85 tuned car. Yeah. What's up, What's up with it? Do it cause I love it and I stuck with it. We ain't with the sub and in the cut with it. Please none of the talks, I heard enough of it. Like, what you gon' do? Where you at? Who you with? You ain't really about this. Don't talk about it. Really on the move, on the map, never slip. Keep your hands to your lips. Don't talk about it. Real eyes, real lies, real lies. All the time, stand on it. If we said it, we don't walk around it. Loose lips, ink ships, red cup, blue strips, new phone. Who this? No, we don't allow it. Really on go, I don't know. What's an off day? Now we on road, came from now. You guys, if you've been in the loop with all of the vlogs and you've seen the most recent upload when we took the car down to Fort Worth, Texas, and had the boys over at NRG retune the car for the port work that was done to the intake manifold and the throttle body, then you guys would have seen the car lost power. And we're talking a lot of power. Like, I'm talking about almost, <laughs> almost 30 horsepower we lost. Um, after, you know, getting the intake manifold and throttle body ported, I was expecting to gain at least maybe like 10, 5 to 10 horsepower, but losing almost 30 is insane. So I know you guys are wondering, and I know you guys, a lot of you guys are talking and chattering and telling me, oh, it's X, it's Y, it's Z. What are you going to do, J.I.? Honestly, bro, like I said in the dyno video, I told y'all this is the last time that I'm putting the car on the dyno with this setup solely because of the simple fact that you just can't do anymore. All I could do differently is put a cam in the car and do the heads and maybe even throw a stall converter in there, get the car retuned and then see what it does from there. But even then, it's like, it's no point in me continuously putting the car on the dyno, putting the car, getting the car retuned, and three hours and 30 minutes of driving to Dallas from where I live is honestly very, very expensive, and I lose a lot of money. Not only am I losing money because I gotta pay for gas and a hotel and stuff like that, but I'm also losing money because I don't get to go to work because I'm taking days off to go out there and get the car retuned. So honestly, bro, like where I'm at with the car right now is the tune is supposedly spot on. The car is healthy. It's not having any issues. I'm probably just gonna leave the car like this for a while, get my cam package in, and I'm kinda leaning towards doing the heads on the vehicle as well. If I do go ahead and go that route, I've been looking at the Frankenstein heads and I've also been looking at the PRC heads. I'm not 100% sure what company I'm gonna go with. I know PRC heads are always out of stock and Frankenstein heads are low key just as hard to find. So there's been ideas of maybe getting a set of stock LT1 heads and then sending those joints off to a machine shop and having them ported, having them machined and having some work done to those. That way I won't have to worry about downtime because because I'll still have my current set of heads on the car. And then when those get sent back, I'll just swap them on when we swap in the cam. I'm not 100% sure what route exactly I'm gonna take. I just know as of right now, y'all, I'm not, I'm not doing anything. Um, I'm just gonna keep it a buck. I'm not about to sit here and just continue to stress over trying to chase that high horsepower number when at the end of the day, bottom line, <laughs> it's just a Boton car at the end of the day. It's a Boton car with E85 and a little bit of weight reductions when I take the seats out and put the drag pack on. That's literally it. It's not anything spectacular. You know, I see all these YouTube videos and I know you guys have seen the videos too of Boton cars going in there making 500, 510, 490 upwards. It's, it's cool, you know. Congrats to them, props to them, but at the end of the day, y'all gotta understand, when it comes to tuning these vehicles, bro, it's not cheap, okay? Each tune, when you actually go to a new tuner and they have to unlock your uh, ECM and <laughs> put the car on the dyno and all of that, dude, it's literally like 700, 750 each time. And I've gone through three different tuners on this car already. So y'all do the math on that. 
Luckily, the guys over at NRG took care of the kid. The last time I went out there, they didn't charge me to put the car back on the rollers and, you know, get a new tune and stuff like that. But still, if they would have, that's another 750 that I'm gonna have to pay. So like, I'm not, I'm just not trying to continue to pour money into this car as it sits. I feel like the next time that the car gets tuned, I have to have new mods on the car. It just makes the most sense. I can't continue to put the car on the dyno, put the car through a tune, and have the same parts on the car and expect a different result. It's gonna be the same result every time. The only time you get a different result is when you change something. So that being said, y'all, I'm chilling. You know, the car made 468, I believe, or 465, one of the two. <sighs> It's a healthy car, you know, I take my dubs, I take my L's, you know, it just comes with this car game. At the end of the day, it is what it is, man. I know a lot of you guys were expecting me to say, oh, I'm finna go switch tuners, I'm about to go get the car retuned, like, NRG is trash, NRG is this, NRG is that. Honestly, those guys have been great to me, I have no issue with them, I have no bad blood with them, nothing like that, it's just the facts, I mean, you can expect, I don't know. I. Honestly, I really don't know, man. I I don't know. I, I don't know what to do, what to say. I mean, I don't know. And I know you guys are going to leave your comments in the comment section down below, so go right ahead and do it, man. You know, let me know what you guys are thinking. You know, sometimes when you guys actually make comments, not even sometimes, when you guys actually make comments that are going to help me and are productive comments i actually listen and i take them into consideration now when you guys are dropping comments like trolls would or you know just bsing in the comment section i really ignore those so if you are about to try to troll me or you're about to try to troll the guys over at nrg bro just give it up you know what i'm saying because at the end of the day you're just wasting your time by typing up the comment that I'm not gonna read <laughs> or I'm not gonna respond to. You're not gonna get any interaction out of me with those kind of comments. So I'm just letting you guys know now, you feel me? The car is 100% full bolt-on. Well, not even really. You, It's not a max effort car, but it is a full bolt-on car. I mean, the only thing that's missing to be bolted onto this car, if you will, prior to going boost, is the cam and the heads. That's literally it. So, I mean, it's not much that we can do. So, I'm not even going to stress over it. Of course, I was a little upset. I'm pretty sure you guys could have um, peeped that kind of vibe from me in the outro of the tuning video. It is what it is. You know, of course, I was a little bummed. Drove all the way out there trying to get the car to, you know, read that 500 horsepower mark or at least the 490 mark. And we fell short. About 40, 40 horsepower short of that mark so it is what it is you know what are you gonna do i'm not even about to complain about it i've already taken some time to just you know set out a game plan and move forward at the end of the day the port work that's done on the car is amazing it was done by a great dude um i've heard nothing but good reviews about his porting so i know it's not the porting the tune i saw it it's spot on the fuel is literally spot on air fuel ratio spot on so there's nothing else that you can do you can't pull numbers out of your ass man i mean it is what it is but with all that being said though that's gonna wrap it up for today's video if you guys are new to the channel i don't know why this cop has been sitting right here the entire time i've been vlogging but it is what it is if you guys are new to the channel do your boy a favor hit the subscribe button turn on those post notifications drop a comment in the comment section down below and i'm gonna see you guys in the next one peace almost forgot to update you guys the awe exhaust is back on the car now so i'll leave you guys with the startup i didn't film that just because y'all seen it before but yeah i did it okay now i'll see y'all in the next one